And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a new Nebulous Fleet Command video. If you guys saw my last video, I'm going to be honest, I hated it. Yeah, we're going to start this video off early with some hate. I personally hated it so much that I've been beating myself up for the last, I don't know, two weeks since that came out. Did I like the editing style I did? Yes. Did I like the voice recording I did? Oh, absolutely not. I sound like the most boring professor in the worst college campus on earth. I have found it very monotone and I hated listening to my own voice. Then again, I hear a lot of people like not listening to their own voices, uh, especially when they do recording. Anyway, so I'm gonna try and change it up a little bit. I am going strictly ad lib, screw the script. We're gonna just go ahead, and throw that crap out of here and let's get into it. Okay, so instead of doing the Shelter Alliance, which we did poorly last time, I may redo that video, but on to today's topic, Outlying Systems Protectorate. Who are they? Well, I don't do lore. Like I said, if you check out the last video that I uh, linked in the description on the Shelter Alliance, yeah, I'm gonna go force you to go ahead and look at that just so you can see how terrible I did. Anyway, there's a good lore video in there that you guys could go check out because I'm not getting into that. Probably not now. I may down the future of the road, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, back to the OSP. OSP basically is the civilian, like, boogaloo people of Nebulous Fleet Command. Why do I say that? Because even their ship classes sound like civilian stuff. Like, you could literally throw Dodge Ram into this thing and it would still fit in. Like, we got shuttles, we got tugboats, cargo feeders, the Ocello class command cruiser, the only one that stands out, bulk freighter class, and container liner class. I'm sorry, but these names sound like the most basic thing that they absolutely could be. But in their own right, this was basically a bunch of civilians that grabbed whatever the hell they could to fight against the Shelter Alliance. Why do I say fight Shelter Alliance, whether it's lore friendly or not? I don't know. But you know what? These are the two factions we have to use to fight in the game, short of the modded ones. We'll get into that in another video. Anyway, back to the OSP. Yeah, you look at these things and basically it looks like someone grabbed a basic cargo freighter that you could go look out in the ocean right now and threw 450 millimeter cannons and mass drivers on the side of it except they put this thing in space that's essentially what these people are doing and i kind of respect them for it especially some of the new weapons that came out i am terrified of the plasma cannons do you know why because when you see those purple streaks coming at you it is god awful terrifying especially when you get four ships that have a bow plasma and plasma cannon turrets I want to run away as fast as I absolutely can. Why? Because all four, because those will screw you up faster than you can say. Oh shit! Okay, now that I'm done rambling, let's go ahead and get into what these ships actually are. We're gonna do similar style like we did with the Shelter Alliance. Don't worry, I'm gonna go over each and every one of them and some of their best attributes. But we're also gonna throw in a little bit of tactics and what we've done uh, to use these to the best of their potentials. So. First off, we're going with the Shuttle Class Clipper. This is a tiny, 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 tiny little ship that actually could be compared to the Corvette from the Shelter Alliance. This thing is super fast. Gas, gas, gas. I'm gonna step on the gas. Super small, but it's also very weak. It's only got five centimeters armor thickness. However, it does have a couple of good armor points that you could actually go ahead and throw some missile defenses on it or the rl-18 dumb fire missile launcher if you ever look at the rl-18 in game and you instantly think of the russian video of all those rockets just firing off in the distance you basically get the idea i've had guys sneak up behind me with this thing and just dump 36 rockets all onto me and i couldn't do anything because they were so fast to get behind me i couldn't get my point defenses up on time that's probably the most impressive thing about it aside from it being super fast again it's very weak five centimeters of thickness and its crew vulnerability is at 60 percent i would highly recommend either using this as a scouting ship or hey use it as a sneak attack uh boat for when you need to get behind a big ship and just dump a bunch of missiles on them again it's your call i mean even then this thing is still badass no matter which way you look at it all right, next up, we got the Tugboat class. This ship is a little bit bigger than the shuttle, but it's not as big as the cargo feeder, which is next. But this ship is actually still pretty damn good in its own right. You could still fit like a bow cannon on this. You could fit 
a radar and or gun on the top and the bottom and you can also still put some point defense systems on this i personally like to use this as an electronic warfare ship throw an early warning radar on it or throw the i think it's the bloodhound radar that you can go on it to get better target acquisition at a big set of targets so that way you can understand get understand what's what as well as get some better target acquisition that way your shots aren't going all over the goddamn place however it's still very weak it's got the same armor thickness as the shuttle at five centimeters thickness and the same crew vulnerability at 60 percent it does have double the radar signature of the shuttle though granted it's still small it's fast but it's still small and it's still weak Again, I like to use these as electronic warfare ships. I would never use this as a frontline ship. Why? It's too damn weak. A basic 120 millimeter is going to be able to go ahead and shred through this thing like it's nothing. Remember, these ships aren't military based. They're not bait to take a hit, but they can still dish out a hit if they need to. Again, use it to your advantage. Electronic warfare is the best that I found to use these in to at least keep an eye out for what's going on around me and the early warning radar you can slap on it is fantastic for at least knowing the general area of where your enemies are coming from you can also again use that bloodhound radar and get better target acquisition again i'm rambling let's move on to the next one all right next on our list is the cargo feeder class monitor i'm sorry my brain decided not to make my lips work right there anyway cargo feeders are exactly what they sound like they're smaller ships that are meant to design to transport bulk materials from one place to another whether that be from a port to a ship or vice versa now these guys essentially went ahead and attached like plasma cannons and whatnot to it and missile tubes on the side which is arguably probably the most terrifying setup i've actually seen of this and i say that because our boy nightbear who plays in our streams quite often did that to me one time and all of a sudden I see 12 plasma shots coming at me from the distance because I don't even have a radar lock yet. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, hey, that's 12 plasma shots. I should probably run. It's terrifying to look at. And the armor thickness is the icing on the cake. 40 centimeters. Count that. Four zero centimeters. Granted, you still have the same crawler vulnerability as the previous two ships at 60%. But 40 centimeters is such a massive difference compared to 5 centimeters. Use this baby to your advantage. This thing can take a hit and dish it right back just as hard. It's still pretty fast for its ship size. It can move very, very good. You put a good drive on this thing, and especially since it'll have the spinal weapons, it'll be able to still move at a very good pace. Left, right, center, up, down, spin around, whatever you want to do to get its bow pointing at the target while it's got its plasma cannons also pointing at another target or the same target again you can even throw the missile tubes on this or throw in the rl18 or the rl36 on it the choices are limitless with this ship this is going to be your bread and butter ship this is going to be your one that's fast that hits hard and can still and can still take a hit and go that all you got okay up next we got shogun's favorite uh, ship the Ocello class command cruiser. What is the difference between a command cruiser light cruiser and heavy cruiser? Well, the command cruiser is essentially a heavy cruiser By a different name. They're heavily armed and heavily armored They got plenty of weapon points to be able to throw basically whatever the heck you want on it as well as Be a good frontline ship for your fleets. Why do I say this? Well, its armor thickness is 30 centimeters and it's er and if it's coming at you from the front some of those shots are probably going to bounce off that armor, unless you get broadsided. But then again, we've all been broadsided by, by ships here. I mean, you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't before. Now, it's got good component damage reduction at 40%, as well as its crew vulnerability drops down to 25%, which means your people are going to be able to stay alive longer in this ship. So, make sure you have good damage control teams, so that way they can keep this ship alive longer and keep you harder in the fight. This thing will save you more times than you can count. Even though it doesn't have as much armor thickness, say, as the previous ship we just talked about, the cargo feeder, at 40 centimeters at that one, this one still has 30 centimeters, it can still move a good pace. It can keep up with the cargo feeder. I promise you, you're going to love this ship when you start playing around with what you want to put the weapons on it. Anyway, let's get on to the next ship. Okay, now we're up to the big boys, the bulk freighter class line ship. Why is it called a line ship? I don't know. I may be in the Navy, but I don't know everything. We'll get back to that another time. But this thing is essentially a cargo carrier. 
But it's not carrying that cargo anymore, ladies and gents. Guess not what it's carrying. Big ass 450 millimeter guns, 400 millimeter plasma cannons and plasma turrets, along with mass drivers. I've seen people come up with some deadly stuff on these ships. And I've just sometimes found myself sitting there in the fleet editor, messing around with these ships, trying to figure out what's the best way to do it or multiple different ways of doing it. I have a sniper set up from one of them where they'll sit back with all of its guns and rain down hell on one specific target that I want it to while all of its guns are pointing one way with cargo containers on the other side full of mines where I'll just shoot them into the distance. It's like, I'm going to put some mines over here, put some mines over there. The amount of things you can do with the ship are, I don't want to say infinite, but there's a lot. I'm going to be real with y'all. This ship is incredibly customizable with tons of different weapon points. You can set up 100 millimeter cannons on it. You can set up with more point defenses. You can set the missile tubes up on it, both class two, class three. You can even send cargo missiles off of this thing, like the mines I was just talking about earlier. And you can have one side filled with just a bunch of 450 millimeter cannons. And if you guys use those in the Shelter Alliance, you know those things pack a punch. Now imagine four of them double barreled on one side. That's eight barrels of 450 millimeter. Like I said, the possibilities are nearly endless with the ship. Have fun. Use it as a sniper where it sits back with its giant guns and rains down hell on any poor soul that decides to get into its range. Use it as a frontline ship where you can put plasma turrets on both sides and then just let the ship automatically turn itself to better engage with all four or even eight plasma turrets if you decide to. Like I said, a lot of possibilities with this. Shoot, you could throw a bunch of cargo missiles onto that, but I wouldn't recommend that because that's up for the next ship. Last but certainly not least, one of the biggest ships that you're going to be coming across, the Container Liner Line Ship Class. I don't like that way that whole name went across, but we're just going to roll with it. These things are the primary element of the Protectorate fleet. They were quickly refit from commercial freighters and then pressed into OSP service during the blockade at Krybensis Gate. Wait, 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 wait. Toasted. You said you weren't going to talk about any lore. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go back to the ships. Anyways, what can this thing do? It can attach so many cargo missiles and torpedoes that it's kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie that if I was on a Navy ship and I just so happened to see this cargo ship uh, fly by me and then all of a sudden the cargo container started to detach with rockets on the ass end and started traveling at me I'm pretty sure I need a new set of pants I'm not gonna even deny that the problem with some of those missiles is that they're really slow but they're really tough so use that to your advantage you can have this thing sit back and just be a missile carrier that'll just send a bunch of cargo missiles downrange towards your enemies or you can have this run with the rest of your fleet and you can use the cargo containers on this to finish off uh any ships that have been immobilized or anything so that way you can quickly move on to your next foes anything you want to do now you don't only have to use the cargo container missiles on this ship but that to be honest was its primary use you can still throw other weapons on it and whatnot in fact i've seen some people uh just throw on the quad barrel 100 millimeter guns on this and use it to defend against the lighter ships that come at them the choice is yours you're going to enjoy this ship either way because it's got a lot of firepower okay whew. you know what i'm not gonna lie with you guys that one actually felt a lot better why do i say a lot better because i'm actually laughing at myself instead of hating the monotone professor voice that i was holding ill you know what never mind i'm gonna stop that too i don't even like that uh, like I said, if you guys like this a lot better, I'm happy to go back and redo the Shelter Alliance. Um, we did get, like, uh, at the time of this recording, like, seven subscribers out of it. Of which, again, I wasn't expecting any of that. I wasn't expecting it to even get as many views as it did. I was expecting, like, oh, maybe the guys out of the, uh, by Twitch chat to go check it out. But I'm actually kind of happy that you guys ended up liking it. Um, but, like I said, I know I can do better. I can make it a lot better. And... I'm hoping that this change uh, you guys will like a lot more. I'll see it if it gets a better increase in views and likes and whatnot. Like the other video is already a great starter for me, I think. 
but again i'm rambling if you guys want me to redo that one just let me know now in the comments um don't forget to like and subscribe you know the whole youtuber no um blah 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 stuff but if you uh didn't like something of it or you guys want to change something up go ahead and uh let me know in the comments as well or if a future comment uh not a comment excuse me a future uh, topic you guys want me to cover next we'll probably go over some of the specific weapon classes and or the guns on one side or the other uh still deciding with the boys what we're gonna do with that but anyways thanks for hanging out appreciate you guys checking the uh checking this video out and i hope it, you guys actually end up learning something and i don't know maybe had a good laugh with me but until next time guys keep your eyes on the scope watch out for spikers and we'll see you guys in space peace missile supply running low Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're gonna learn today. They're gonna learn today. We've lost well, I think you did find my weakness. <laughs> I don't think any of these missiles have actually gotten through. Oh no, wait, a couple, a couple, I got a couple hits. Yeah, you've gotten a couple.